Hello guys and welcome to another Football Manager video with me, James, from the Football Manager with Kids where we're focusing on Premier League downgrades for FM16. Now we're going to show you them on FM15 and I'm going to give you one player from each Premier League team that I believe over the last year, based on form, do not deserve to be as good as they are on the new upcoming Football Manager 2016 as they are on FM15. Now we'll do it in alphabetical order, so first up we're heading to Arsenal. Now, due to the lack of form, we could have easily pick Danny Welbeck or the injured Jack Wilshire or Thomas Rosicki, who's declining. But for me, Arsenal has to be Matthew Debucci. Now, they signed him from Newcastle, the club I support. We knew all about him. He's absolutely fantastic at attacking, but when it comes to defending, he's really, really poor. Now, as you can see, he's a rock solid, age 28 in his prime, right back. France international value just short of 9 million for me he doesn't deserve to be nowhere near as good as this especially defensively ok we'll give him his pace, his crossing, his dribbling because going forward he's very good his bravery needs to be knocked down by probably 7, 8, 9 he's not a brave guy in fact he's very backs out of challenge basically he doesn't go in hard on challenges and he pulls out of a lot of challenges determination I'm not sure it should be 18 either. His tackle in for 15 is way, way too high. But his attacking attributes, okay, they're fine. But for me, defensively, Matthew Debucci needs decreased big time because he's not as good as people thought he was. At Newcastle, we knew that. Now he's moved on to Arsenal, onto the big stage, into the Champions League, competing at the top end of the Premier League, and he's been found out. We replaced him with Dal Jan, Matt. And now it seems like Arsenal could do with a Daryl Yam mat. So for me, at Arsenal, Matthew Debucci deserves to be decreased in attributes, in particular the defensive areas. For me, at Aston Villa, it has to be this guy. He just does not impress me every time I see him. Now, we associate Gavier Bonhor with his pace, and naturally he does have that in the game. Now, physically, I won't complain with any of these attributes. All his strength, I don't believe, should be near 16 but his finishing at 12, not for me. He's not even, I would give him 10. He couldn't finish his T. He doesn't score goals. As you can see, on the game currently, not including the current season, 283 games and 67 goals. To be honest, I'm even surprised he's got that. He just doesn't seem to score a lot at all. He's got the work rate. He's got the physicals. His aggression is definitely not that. His bravery is definitely, definitely not that. I've seen him rolling around the ground a few times. He's more of a wide man, in my opinion, would use that pace to get crossing and dribbling. His dribbling could be a little bit better, but overall, for me, he needs a decline. His heading at 14, his finishing at 12 are not that for me. They need a big decrease, and that value at 9.25 million, not for me. Get him down to around the 5 million mark. He just hasn't done anything for a long, long time, and I think Gabi Bonlaw at Aston Villa should be downgraded on FM16. Now at Bournemouth it was a tough one because not many of them should really be downgraded after just being promoted. But for me, the 36-year-old Sylvan Distan, he's got some attributes that are probably too kind at that age, considering he's probably declined. Now his pace at 16, a 36-year-old past his prime, 16 pace, I do not believe he has that anymore. Some of them should be declined also. His long throws, I tell you what, for being 16... I have not really heard his long throws being mentioned in terms of Premier League football. His physicals should probably all be declined slightly. His mentals, they're not bad, but a little bit declined. And really, guys, I'm not trying to hammer Bournemouth here. I'm not trying to hammer Sylvan Distan. But due to his age, typically for me, we've got to decline him a little bit in terms of his pace, his fitness, etc. I just think he needs a little decline, including his acceleration. So, it was a tough one to pick at Bournemouth, but just due to his age, Sylvan Desta needs a small knockback in terms of his attributes. So, at Chelsea, we can talk about Branislav Ivanovic, John Terry, etc. needing a decline, but for me, sadly, it has to be Falcao. Of course, on loan at Manchester United last season, didn't do very well. It's just because he's got a 27 point value. 27.5 million value at the start of the game on around £185,000. But he shouldn't be like that. He should be valued around the £12 million mark. For me, he's still a good player. 
I think the pressure is really on him. He's finishing 19, clearly not. He doesn't score many goals in recent times. His physicals are about right, to be fair, because it looks like they're not the best anyway, but mentally, they need a knockback. His anticipation, his bravery, even his composure, determination, they need a bit of a knockback. The finishing by one or two, maybe, need a knockback, and his head, and he's not scored many goals recently. Penalty taken, haven't really seen him take a penalty in a long time, so... Yeah, I think it was quite obvious this one. As I said, John Terry potentially could be knocked back a little bit. I'm a big fan of Terry. Ivanovic, again, criticism this season, he could have been knocked back a bit, but ultimately it has to be Falco at Chelsea. And sadly, because I was and still am a big fan of his and I would love to see him score a few goals for Chelsea. So Falco, for me, deserves a downgrade at Chelsea. Now, 28 goals in 130 games for me, this guy, Conor Wickham, has to be knocked back. A big move to Sunderland, didn't do the best there, of course, did save them from relegation though. And he got another big move to Palace, and I don't know why they felt the need to pay that much money. He valued at £8.25 million on the game, on 60 grand a week, because he was on a lot at Sunderland. And of course, it probably would have got increased going to Crystal Palace. For me... They have been very, very kind here. His mental attributes are probably just about right, but 15 finishing? Nah, not for me, like. Long throws again, they've given 17. How often do we see Conor Wickham taking a throw to say, whoa, he takes a good throw, but we don't see it at all, do we? His head in could probably knock back a little bit, because if it was any good, like 14 would suggest, he'd score more goals heading. His crossing, his dribbling, I don't really see him out wide very often. I don't know how they've come up with that. First touch 13 could be knocked back a bit. So basically his technicals could do with a bit of a hit. And his mentals are probably okay. And his physicals are not too bad. But for me, Conor Wickham needs a decrease in value. I know he's had two big moves, but he's not been justified in either of them. Especially at Sunderland. We'll give him a bit of time at Palace. But technically he needs a knock back. That's Conor Wickham of Crystal Palace. Although early in his career he had a pretty decent goal scoring record in the last 2-3 years due to injury and amongst not scoring for Wigan and Everton, Aruna Kone needs a decrease because looking at these attributes for a 30 year old he looks pretty fantastic and you take him to most championship clubs and probably even Premier League clubs if it was anybody with those attributes other than Aruna Kone. He doesn't deserve 15 dribbling, 15 finishing, first touch of 12, long shot to 12, he doesn't deserve them. Physically, you could probably have a little knockback of one or two on each there. His strength could be knocked back. His bravery could definitely be pulled back. His determination also. His flair, he's not flair at all. I can guarantee you there are far more players with flair than Aruna Kone who have less than 13 attributes for that. Some of the other ones are pretty decent. Work rate, they're okay. Accelerations, pace, they're fine. But for somebody who would have those attributes, he looks like an established Premier League player. And that he is not looking at his recent goal scoring record. And injury has halted him as well and he should really be dropped back a little bit. Aruna Kone of Everton deserves a downgrade in my opinion. Another tough call at Leicester and I'm not really sure who deserves a downgrade. The only reason I've gone with Robert Huth is because I believe he's good but I don't believe he's as good as made out by Football Manager. Now he's 29, he has got German international caps. I don't think he's been capped for a while. He's 5.75 million value. That could be dropped a little bit. But some of these need to be dropped for me. His aggression is probably correct. His bravery is good. That's what he is. He likes to dive into tackles. He likes to be physical and hard guy. But for me, there's far too many bright green attributes. Not back bravery a little bit. Not back determination and position and teamwork. To be fair, he's probably good at all these. But I don't think he's that good because with these attributes, as good as they are, the aggression, bravery, determination, positioning, teamwork, work rate, tackling, heading, strength, balance, with those all pretty fantastic and 16 plus, age 29, probably in his prime, with those that good, he would be amongst the elite players, defenders, centre-backs in FM15 and he just isn't, so... Knock them back a little bit, probably to around the 15, 16 mark each of them and make them a solid Premier League player. But for me, with those attributes right now, he looks like a in-form, peak standard, 
elite player on Football Manager, and that is what he's not. Robert Huth, for me, small downgrade at Leicester City. Now, at Liverpool, we were quite open and we quite had a few generous players that could have had downgrades, whether it be to Colo Turi, Dejan Lovren, and Jose Enrique also. But I had to go for John Flanagan. Now, John Flanagan is a good player. I'm not saying he's not. But for me, his attributes at the moment, they have him pretty much a top, top fullback in the game. And for me, that is, he's not. Is his marking that good? Is his tackling that good? And bear in mind, he's been injured for a long, long time. Far too long to keep these steady attributes. I'm not saying he's a bad player. I just think they've made him a little bit too good. Bear in mind, this time last year, when he fully fit, he probably was good enough. But for me, he needs a decrease in a few things. Probably not in any specific area, but a decrease in probably half of his attributes by one or two, I think would be a little bit fair. With potential to get back up to that standard. Because he's got that. He's only 21, so he's still going to get a lot better. He's probably going to play for England again. But right now, after a year out, I think he's been injured. A little knockback for me. And then try and get him boosted back up to as good as he is here. John Flanagan, a small decrease, but there's a few lucky ones that got away. Particularly Jose Enrique, because he is awful. Dejan Lovren, I actually quite like him as a player. I know Liverpool fans don't. Simon Mignolet, he's not a big fan favourite at Liverpool again. They probably would have seen him decrease a little bit. Not for me, I quite like him. So we've gone for John Flanagan, nothing against him, good player, potential to be even better than he is now, but based on the last year and his injury, he needs to be decreased at the start a little bit. At Man City, there was absolutely no doubt who needed decreased in terms of attributes and value. 33 million, he wouldn't even pay 15 million for Samuel Nasri now. He just is not as good as what he was. Probably at Arsenal, to be honest. At Arsenal, he was excellent. But at Man City, he, he was good. But over the last year, he's declined quite a bit. There's a lot of green attributes, bright green attributes, that need decreased there. Including his determination, that definitely needs dropped a little bit. His first touch, he's dropped a bit. Passing, he's not really known for that. His technique is pretty good, actually. Composure could do a decrease. His anticipation could be done with a decrease. But overall... He could do a small decrease, but mainly the problem is here, 33.5 million value. Bring it down to about 10 million, and you've probably got about the right judgment there. For me, Sami Nasri needs a drop in every situation, every attribute, and definitely the value. Tough one at Manchester United, and the only reason I've gone for Victor Valdez is because if you do not play, your value drops your attributes drop because you're not really playing in first team football matches. Now after 387 games at Barcelona, first team regular for 12 years, a Spanish international of 20 caps, to not be playing, probably at his prime or coming to his prime age 32, not be playing at Manchester United or any club as the first team number one is a joke. He needs to be playing, therefore he isn't and needs a decrease in attribute in all areas. And 13.25 million is very kind, considering we're talking about David De Gea, for me, will go on to be the best goalkeeper in the world. We're talking about a 25 million price tag for him. For Valdez to be valued over half that on the game at the start, absolutely no chance. Big fan of Victor Valdez, needs to move on, needs to play, but he needs a decrease also due to not playing over that course of time at Manchester United. We're not beating around the bush here. Newcastle United fan I am. Mike Williamson doesn't even deserve to have a club in the Premier League. Probably not even championship standard. I don't care about his attributes. He's not good enough. He's awful. He's rubbish. Get him out of the game. Get him out of the club. He is terrible. Not good enough. Meanwhile, Fabrizio Colaccini could also do a de decrease at Newcastle United. Sad to say, being from Scotland, that I've seen Gary Hooper score a lot of goals, 63-95 in his time at Celtic, after coming from a great goal-scoring record of 43-80 at Scunthorpe. But for Norwich, since he moved there, it's just not worked out for him. Some of these attributes need a small decrease. Not a great deal, 
but he isn't as good as what the game suggests. Valued at 6.25 million, that could be brought down to probably 3-4 million because teams will not pay more than 5 million for Gary Hooper. I'm a fan. I believe he should go back to Celtic because that's where he had the, his best time. It's where he won titles, where he scored goals and where he will score goals again. Or potentially move to Bolton, work under Neil Lennon and try and score goals for him and sort them out there. But for me, good, good player. But I've used him on Football Manager myself and in the Premier League he just didn't cut it. For me, I don't think we'll see a great deal of him this season at Norwich. He needs to move on, he needs to get a new club and he needs a decrease in stats. Good player though, Gary Hooper does score goals, but he needs a little decrease. Again at Southampton, tough one on who to pick needs decrease, but it has to be this guy. After being farmed on loan and having a dismal spell at Hull City where they got relegated, how Gaston Ramirez can be valued at the same as he is on FM15 of 9.25 million is beyond me. He usually sells for about 16, 17, up to 20 million on this game. I know he's a good player, I know he's talented, but they've made him out to be an absolute world beater on this game at the age of 23. Of course he is a Uruguayan international, but these attributes are just do not represent the player he actually is. I'm not saying he couldn't get back to this, but he needs to do a lot of work at Southampton this season if he is to become what this game would suggest. For me, definitely needs decreased. He had an awful time at Hull under Steve Bruce. For me, a decrease on FM16 would be just worthy to Gaston Ramirez of Southampton. Now, I could have picked a fair few players here. Afalai could have got a decrease. Steve Ireland could have got a decrease. One or two others at Stoke. But for me, Peter Crouch, I know he's got a great goal scoring record for England, but he's 33 now and he just doesn't look like a Premier League striker anymore. He doesn't look like that player that can score the goals. His record over recent years is okay. Nothing special, but okay. He had a pretty decent time at Liverpool, to be fair. But after that, it's just sort of mediocre. I mean, one in every four at Stoke, that actually impresses me, 24 and 99. But for me, he needs a decrease. Some of his attributes, his pace of 14, should be brought down to about 6. His finishing should be brought down to about 11. First touch, maybe decreased by 1 or 2. His heading should be actually raised. I think his heading is much better than 14. Long shots, never see him take long shots. Although he did score that worldie, I think it was against Manchester City. Passing should be decreased. Technique, probably decreased. Bravery. Composure, decision making should all be decreased in my opinion. Stamina also should be decreased. The strength of being a bit harsh there could be a little bit up. But overall, a decrease for Peter Crouch because, again, he looks like he's either just past his prime and on his way to decline. If this is how he starts FM16, then he will rapidly decline at the age of, I think, 34 he will be on the game. Peter Crouch, for me, deserves a little decrease in attributes. Although I know he's a bit of a legend in terms of age and England goal scoring record, but he needs a decrease in attributes. Now, the whole Sunderland team could have took a decrease. They're absolutely awful this season, they look, and I believe that Dick Advocat will be the first manager we sacked. But in terms of players for Football Manager 2016, it has to be Adam Johnson, no longer an England player. 10 million is definitely not a representation of his value now. Probably around 5 million. I'm a big fan, believe it or not. But he tends to only turn up for 5 or 6 games a season. At Man City, I thought he was really good. At Middlesbrough, I thought he was really good. But, of course, personal issues that we won't go into. For Sunderland, at Sunderland, sorry, seem to have affected his football and doesn't seem to be as effective as what he was once. I think a decrease in probably every area. Definitely his technical, definitely his mental, and probably his physical. For me, a good decrease of a, probably around two numbers on each attribute decrease for Adam Johnson for me. And a value down to about ten sorry, down to about five million from ten million. That's Adam Johnson of Sunderland. For me, needs a decrease. No doubt about it at Swansea, and it's sad to say this because when he was at Swansea, he was a very good player and scored a lot of goals. But over the last year, he's barely kicked the ball and valued at 11.25 million on FM15. 
he definitely needs a decrease. He will not get capped for Spain again. His physicals are probably about right, but his mentals definitely need dropped a lot. Determination needs dropped down off the ball. His composure, his anticipation need all dropped. Finishing by probably two. First touch by one, maybe heading by a couple. His passing needs dropped. And technique's probably okay, but definitely his mental attributes need drop down because, as I say, the last year, where he's barely been seen, he went on loan to Napoli, he hasn't done a lot, and you don't think he's played for Swansea this season, and I think he'll be out of the club sooner than you know. Possibly and probably mutual termination. Who knows? But I believe Gary Monk doesn't want him around the club. I don't know why, because he's done quite well, so I don't know what got him found out on loan to Napoli in the first place. So for me... Michu of Swansea needs a decrease in attributes because he's not quite as good over the last year as the game would suggest just now. And unfortunately, Roberto Soldado has joined Villarreal and Emmanuel Boyer has been released. So that means those two can't be picked for Tottenham. For me, this guy, I just do not rate him. For me, Ryan Mason is not a Tottenham quality player. He's more of a bottom half player. To be honest, I wouldn't even take him at Newcastle. I do not think he's that good. Now you look at these attributes, they don't look great in the first place, but for me, they are going to get increased and I'm a bit worried about that because I do not rate him. Mentally, he's not that good. He's not that good in any area, in fact. 11.5 million value is absolutely crazy. I wouldn't even... I would value him around £5 million. And to get an England cap, I don't know what Roy Hodgson's seen because for me... There are far, far better players than this guy. I would even go for the controversial, laughable by some people, Tom Cleverley ahead of this guy. I like Cleverley. I don't like Ryan Mason in terms of his ability. I think there's much better out there. I think he's absolutely stealing that value and he doesn't deserve it. Eric Lamella could also be decreased. He's only 22, but his attributes also are not as good in terms of real life compared to the game, because he's had a pretty poor time at Spurs. But this guy, for me, that value needs drop big time. Ryan Mason of Tottenham, decrease him. Genuinely another tough call at Watford, because of, of course just been promoted and have got a lot of decent players. But for me, the only reason I'm decreasing him is because he was sold on by Tottenham without really doing anything at Tottenham. And I think they were pretty kind last year because they weren't sure what he'd become. But £11 million does not represent the value of Etienne Capu, considering Watford, I think, got him quite cheaply. I think some of his attributes could be decreased in terms of strength, stamina, his pace, I don't even think he's 13, his heading, I don't know where they get the 16 attribute for that. His anticipation could be knocked back. The rest of them are not too bad, but this is more based on... The fact that he's not going to play for France again, although he has done six times, and he doesn't represent that value of 11 million. Good player, but probably not as good as the current game would suggest for Etienne Capu. He needs a knockback, in my opinion. Without a doubt, at West Brom, it has to be Stefan Sessignon. Now, a decent at Sunderland, to be fair. I remember he absolutely rolled us over Newcastle one time, and absolutely quality. But how he played that many games for PSG, I'll never know. I'm not saying he's a bad player, but 6.5 million, he is not. He's a Benny's international Benin of 48 caps, 9 goals. 6.5 million needs dropped to about 3 million. Some of his attributes need dropped. His dribbling needs dropped. His natural fitness. I don't think he's quite as quick at accelerating as that would suggest. His aggression is definitely not that. His flair is not 20. His technique is not that good. To be fair, I don't think he's that great of a player. I think he, when he wants to turn up, he's good. But when he doesn't, he's not. And he doesn't turn up more often than he does. And I don't really rate him that highly. For me, at West Brom, Stefan Sessignon needs a drop in attribute. Now, had Nobby Kevin Nolan not been released recently, who is one of my all-time favourite Newcastle players, he would have been the player I would have chosen. But for me, it has to be Andy Carl now. Everyone knows I'm a huge, huge fan of Andy Carroll. I want him back at Newcastle one day. I really think when he's fully fit and on his game, he's one of the toughest strikers to handle in the Premier League. I know his goal ratio doesn't represent anything much, but he got 31-72 at Newcastle. 
but his value of 12 million needs to be brought down to probably around 8 million until he proves himself. Now, if he keeps himself fit, he recently returned against Newcastle in a Premier League win at Upton Park or the bowling ground. Now, for me, if he does get back to his best, he can be this good on the game, but currently, no. 14 finishing, no. Pace, 14, no. The rest of them are not too bad, but again, representing that value, for me, no. And injured for a long, long time, needs to be knocked back a bit, with the potential to go back up to this. But for me, he's not got the goal ratio to deserve that finishing in particular. Now, it pains me to say it, but Andy Carroll needs knocked back a bit. Although I'm a big fan, I love him in real life, I think he's a real good player, and I hopefully he comes back home to Newcastle United. Okay guys, that's the Premier League downgrades. If you haven't watched the Premier League upgrades, I've done it about three days ago. Check it out. Thanks for checking out the video, and coming back again soon. And make sure you sub to the channel and check out the WizKids on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks again guys, I'll be back again soon, and I'll see you later.